If you compare the experience of the UK housing market with other countries over the last few years, it's quite striking actually. A lot of people in Britain tend to think only in UK terms and they think about all the various factors impinging on UK house prices. In fact, on the, in the boom in the UK, that was simply part of a wider boom that affected nearly all Western countries. Now, recently, as the booms turned to bust, and a lot of those countries' house prices have fallen quite a long way, in the UK's case, they started falling, and then they started recovering again at a point where, on the historical comparisons, you'd think the market was still overvalued. So I think there's something not quite right about the UK market. I think there are a number of factors which could explain why the UK market experience has been stronger. Of course, the, the volume of sales is very, very low, turnover is very low, and we know from other markets that if you have low turnover, the prices that are ground out by that are not necessarily very reliable. Interest rates have been very low, admittedly they've been very low everywhere, but I suspect that the UK is more susceptible to that sort of stimulus in the housing market. Then you've got the fact that a lot of mortgage lenders have not been strict with borrowers that have got into difficulties under pressure from the government. Repossessions are nothing like as high as they would have been in previous cycles. All these things I think have combined to give us uh, a false market. I think it's impossible to tell what's going to turn the housing market. I suppose I, I think I believe that eventually higher interest rates are going to unsettle the market but that might not happen for a long time actually. Uh, and it's possible that the market might sail on regardless for a long time and it's only when interest rates go up that it actually suffers. But my suspicion is that the adjustment will come sooner than that. Uh, employment is a pretty important thing and earnings. If we continue to see the economy weak and unemployment rising, average earnings static or falling and taxes rising after the election, it may be that that will be enough to tip the market over the edge. But I'm not certain that the adjustment's going to come sooner rather than later.